the thing is, it doesn't really matter how you do it as long as you do it. it you should be able to just use whatever is the most basic thing that's sitting in front of you and make some noise on it that works. And then you're a musician. I mean, technology now has become easy and everyone can experiment and, and that's, that's the way that the process of learning is about. It's about experimentation. And so we did that in a quiet way and, and now people do that in, you know, in front of you know, millions of people. So whatever you, know, you feel comfortable with or I mean, whatever's available. I thought, no, I don't need any restraints. I want to be free to make all the mistakes and all the decisions. And it's all here. I don't, I don't really need notes and I do not miss that. My way was just like, we need a place to play. Oh, these other groups need a place to play. Let's just do it. So I never really made any money or even thought about that to the end. I did all of this and I have nothing material wise. But what I have actually is all of these musicians that were playing rockers are now like amazing and touring the world and really had a chance to develop their voice. Just like I was using it to develop my own voice, you know? If you're with the right people, then you move something, you can move something. Even if you don't know the direction yet when you sit together. But something will happen with the art and the music you do then. Und es hatte sich wunderbar ein sehr früher, sehr alternativer independent Plattenmarkt entwickelt, ähnlich wie das auch im frühen Hip-Hop der Fall war, wo man eigentlich mit, ich sag mal, überschaubar Kohle, wie man damals gesagt hat, sein Zeug unter die Leute bringen konnte. Unter allerbesten freien, wilden, anarchistischen Gesichtspunkten, ohne irgendwen zu fragen, ohne Plattenbosse, ohne groß Image oder sonst irgendwas man brauchte, um da irgendwie seine Musik, sich einfach über die Musik ausdrücken zu können. If you listen to early techno, it's so obvious that people just threw together whatever they had in mind. Um, it was much more uh, eclectic than what came out 10 years later, when everything became more formalized and there was already a, a recipe. There was no recipe at the beginning. A component set, so uh, we have your turntable, you have your radio and eight track player all in one. So I took the turntable, it was an old one that my family had, I, I think the radio or something didn't work on it. And I took another like cheap turntable, I think it was a Lafayette, that was the name of it. It was like a little component set that somebody threw out and I used the balance knob as a mixer to go between the component one and the one that I had. You know, I thought it was pretty ingenious for a little kid, you know, I amazed myself <laughs> and my friends. That's how I became the fake Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> but that was like how eight bar tracks were being made, basically. Someone was coming with like two eight bar loops and just pacing it through the entire track. And that's kind of what kick-started the whole grind thing, really. <laughs>